Hello my little bats, it's me Vampy here. This week's craft tutorial, we're going to be making a vampire hunting kit. Now I have always been looking for an antique, obviously a real one would be amazing, but even a replica vampire hunting kit for my collection and I realised it would probably just sit in its box in the closet and collect dust. So I'm going to make one today and instead of filling the box with the contents, I'm going to mount it in a frame so I can hang it on the wall as a piece of art. So this is a really fun project. I can just find all the little bits that I want to add in and you could put in just one or two things or you could fill it to the brim. So I wanted to recreate this vintage mirror and this was the only pocket size mirror small enough I could find to fit in there so I'm just going to be sculpting on some details make it look a little bit more vintage. The other good thing about this project is you can swap out pieces as you go so if I find the perfect mirror in the future, I can pull this one out and pop in a new one. So this box is going to be what we put all of the bits into, so I'm just going to give the wood a quick stain on the inside. The outside we're not going to see, I'm going to create a frame for it. And while that's drying, I'm just finishing off my mirror. Obviously I don't want this horrible yellow colour so I'm going to paint the whole thing black and then when it dries I'm going to dry brush on some silver, try and get it to look as antique as possible. This is another fun easy way to add in some vampire hunting kit aesthetics. It's just plain old garlic that we're going to string up and I would let this hang outside and dry for a week or so before adding it in. Now I did find several Bibles that were quite pretty and looked really old at op shops and things like that and I know it sounds silly but I didn't really want a Bible in my house so I have taken this old journal of mine and I'm going to cover it in leather and uh, add on these details to make it look like a Bible. So I'm just using super glue and this was old leather from a couch uh, that I had. So this is one of those projects where you can just use whatever you have around the house. This project was really fun because I spent maybe two or three weeks just looking in op shops and uh, on sales trying to find the perfect shaped jars and accessories. So you can really use whatever you have. These stakes I made myself just with some dowel that I created that point on the sanding machine and I'm just going to paint those as well with some wood stain to make them look a little bit more authentic. But again, there's no rules. A lot of the antique vampire hunting kits actually have very smooth, almost perfect looking stakes, but I, I wanted them to have that rough used look to them. So once we've collected and made all our little parts, we're going to put some foam down in our box frame and just roughly lay everything out exactly where you want it 
And what we're actually going to use um, is our foam cutter, a hot wire cutter, or you could even just use a kitchen knife and any of the items that are quite large, we're just going to cut a space in the foam so that they sit in nice and flush. If you only have a small frame at home and you want to give this project a go, you could just put in stakes and a cross and hang a bit of garlic on the side. People are still going to know what you're going for and what it's supposed to be. But because I've been collecting bits and pieces for so long, I really wanted to cram the frame with as many bits and pieces as I could. So once I've made and added the frame, which if you guys want to know how I made this frame, let me know in the comments below and I can do a tutorial on that as well. I'm going to start sort of pinning and gluing everything into place. And once I have all the main things where I want them, that's when I can start decorating. So adding in all the little crosses and jewelry and frames and things that I picked up along the way. Today's video is sponsored by Dale Bamford's Art, which I will have a link in the comment section below. Formerly known as Nightshade FX, you guys probably know him for his beautiful meticulous skull work and movie props. And he's a great resource if you want to start a project like this and you're looking for little jars and oddities. bottom we have some rosary beads, a mallet for pounding in those stakes, a small hand cross, a jar with holy water, a small picture of Jesus, some small small crosses, the mirror so we can see any vampires, we have a little vial of vampire blood in the bottom corner, a large hand cross, a bible with a cross on it and a small dagger that I made as well. Oh. 